Then we have this guy, Raskin. Raskin, whose father I've told you about, he comes out of this radical family. He's been on both of the impeachment committees and he's on the January 6th committee because he's a chip off his old father's block and his old father was a red. But he'd been a professor of the Constitution, constitutional law for a period of time. It's amazing to me. Shouldn't he be a professor against the Constitution or rather than of the Constitution? Well, here he is with a really hardball interview on MSLSD. Go. You have said that the committee's planned public hearings this year are going to, quote, blow the roof off the House. What makes you confident that these hearings will have that? This hearing's going to blow the roof off the House. How do you know? I'm on that committee. I see. Aren't you supposed to be at least publicly objective? You're conducting an investigation using subpoenas. I'm on the side of righteousness. I won't say God, being an atheist. I'm on the side of righteousness. I am, after all, a raskin, and we know how corrupt this government is. Not us, of course, who exercise this kind of totalitarian power. No, 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 no. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to destroy these people. Trump, his followers, the Republican Party, they're spending American tax dollars on this. American tax dollars on this. These guys are going out publicly saying what they're going to do. We want to get Trump indicted. We want to prevent him from being president of the United States. Uh, there are criminal statues out there, and this guy's out there saying, yes, this is going to be a spectacular public hearing. Look at the smirks on their already smirk-like faces. It's unbelievable. Go. The American people, and how do you avoid some of your Republican witnesses from turning them into a circus on live TV? Hey, you got to make sure when you do these hearings, you do them the right way so the Republicans don't turn the tables on you. This, this is this clown in his British accent. Hey, I say, how do, you, how do you prevent these people from turning it on to you? You know, the Republicans, you know, you remember Ali North, the way he did that? I mean, after all, go. Well, <clears throat> the first thing is that the Senate impeachment trial was about one guy, Donald Trump, and one crime, incitement to violent insurrection. One crime. Was he convicted of some crime? Incitement to insurrection. God help us. I just hope this isn't the the narrative for the next 50 to 100 years in this country, because the Democrats are working very, very hard to make it the narrative. Go ahead. The mandate of the select committee is far broader. It's Where much did the mandate come from? This select committee. Pelosi. There's no real Republicans on this committee. Remember, uh, the majority Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy, wasn't allowed to appoint his own members. So we've never seen anything like this, but that's the nature of Nancy Pelosi. Eva Pelosi. But remember, he says, this isn't just narrow like impeachment. The Trump, it's not narrow like, like Watergate just on that. No, it's broad. We can go after everybody and anybody for anything. And if they don't dump all their materials in our laps so we can use it against them, politically, of course, uh, we will seek an indictment against them from our always objective and independent attorney general of the Department of Justice. We will go after them if they don't submit. I am telling you this is precisely what the framers of the Constitution rejected. This is a disgrace. Go. It's much more sweeping than that. We're looking at all of the events of the day, all of the causes and what needs to be done to fortify democratic institutions in the future. So we're looking at that mob riot, which surrounded a violent insurrection of domestic violent extremist white nationalist groups surrounding a presidential coup against the wow, vice president. Wow, he's got it all down, doesn't he? He's good, a little Marxist. He's got it all down, a res insurrection, white supremacists, a presidential coup. He's got it down, man. Go ahead. And against the Congress. And we're going to tell the story of each dimension of this attack on American democracy. And the American people have not yet seen all of the evidence laid out in this way. So we're going to have hearings uh, for the American people, which I hope will um, seem somewhat like the Watergate hearings. Ah, the Watergate hearings. That's what we need. Watergate hearings, yeah. Uh, these are the people who oppose the Army McCarthy hearings, the Un-American Activities Committee. And yet, isn't this what we're getting in reverse? It seems to me we're getting this in reverse. This has nothing to do with the Watergate committee or the, the committee or the Iran-Contra committee or anything like that. They have a result and they're trying to 
lay the stage, cherry pick the information. They have a, not just a friendly media, a uh, regurgitating media that slobbers all over them and can't wait. You saw the woman. Oh yes, uh, breaking story, breaking story. Subpoenas have been issued. And um, it's really uh, appalling how they set all this up, January 6th and so forth. I don't know. I'm, I don't, I, I'm very, very troubled by all this. And the pushback has to be strong. You know, I push back here. I have on Fox. I do on my radio show frequently. And of course, they want to suggest that I support the violent overthrow of the government and the violent attack on the Capitol. But it doesn't matter how many times I, I reject that. And I reject violence, period. Uh, it doesn't matter. These guys have the, uh, the bullhorns, and they're using them. These guys have the soapboxes, and they're using them. This guy's among the worst of the propagandists. He learned very, very well at his father's feet. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.